Hey guys. So, welcome to my disaster of a room. You know when you're like really pressed and uh, you know you have all this shit to do, but you just can't seem to motivate like getting up and getting dressed is enough work kind of thing? So I have a bunch of crap to do. So I finally forced myself to at least clean this room up, start packing some shit up. So I have like, cause I have a ton of, ton of clothes, kind of. I figured I'm gonna start packing some shit up and figuring out what I'm, what I'm doing in my life. I started cleaning up my car today because I have to sell my old car, which is like, mm, because it's like my dream boat car. It's a Volkswagen Cabrio, like a 99 black, but it's a piece of shit. Like it's been falling apart since we bought it. It's a beautiful car, but at this point, I just need to get rid of everything. Like we're pretty much going to sell as much, like 75% of our stuff. <laughs> so we hopefully have enough money to get like a new apartment. Like we're actually probably going to move towards like New York, we're thinking. Um, but yeah, so there's that. Anyway, that was not the point of this video. That was just sort of like, I don't know, an update, whatever. So. As I've probably said before, I hate that you can make money on YouTube. Like, it is not one of mine. I'm going to fold clothes as I do this, except my life. Um, as I said before, I'm not a huge fan of the fact that you can make money on YouTube. Because, like, I feel like if it was back in, like, 2007 when YouTube came out and it wasn't really a big thing, we'd have a lot more, like, honest, real people. Like, we'd have people just make fucking videos because it's fun. And not because, like, I need to jump on the biggest bandwagon because that's how I'm going to make money. Like, right now, like, I don't know, man. I, maybe I haven't been... Let's say in December. I'm gonna say that six months ago when I was like really, you know, more into YouTube before like my life fell apart. Um, I noticed that everybody and their fucking brother were making fucking drama channels. Like everybody was like tea spill and hot tea and mango tea and da 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 tea 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 tea. And it's like, as I have my drink. Um, this is not tea though, bitch. But like, I, I get it. Like I watch some drama channels, so I do understand. Um, there are people that I'm like, okay, you pull shit out of your ass. Like some of the fees are proper. Let's talk about it. But I get it, you know. But it, I think the days of where you can go into YouTube and make money are pretty much over. There are always been channels that are more popular than others, but, like, I feel like the days of, like, like, Jenna Marbles. Jenna Marbles is one of my favorite YouTubers ever. I fucking love her. But I don't think for a second she'd be as popular as she uh, is now if she didn't start in 2000, like, you know, 7. Same thing with, like, Anision. Anision never would have jumped to where he is, well, where he was, at least, if it wasn't the fact they started YouTube at the beginning of it. You know? But we all the people that are just, like, they only do YouTube to strive for, like, this fame, this YouTube famous, and it's like, fuck that shit. Like, I have 300 some odd subscribers, and I love every single one of you guys. Like, the fact that anybody wants to watch my fucking stupid bullshit rambles, I'm like, oh, because I have a job, <laughs> you know? I just like to talk to myself and you guys, I guess, you know? I want to make friends. I want to, like, you know, have, like, a community. And I kind of wish that we could have, like, excuse me, <laughs> we could have, like, a YouTube where you, like, pay, and a YouTube, like, where, like, there's, like, paid creators, because there are people who make really amazing content that they, they should get paid for. But there's a lot of people who just, like, you know, make videos like me and get paid for, and it's like, that didn't take much effort, by the way. Vintage motherfuckers, what? Anyway, um, so I was watching a video and it was talking, you know, shit on beauty gurus. And it was like talking shit on like the 2017 Rewind or whatever, which I didn't watch because if there's anybody I know on that, like the people I guess I watch on YouTube are not really popular or something because the people that were in the 2017 Rewind, I was like, who the fuck are half these people? But whatever. And they're talking shit on beauty gurus, you know? And like, are you really that naive to think that like, you are on YouTube. I mean, I would love to think that everyone on YouTube is totally honest and it's just who they are and it's not at all a marketing ploy. No, 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 no one would ever have a marketing ploy. It's not like they're getting paid for it. So yeah, people who are going to review products for the most part are going to just be like, well, they're paying me this odd amount of money to tell you about this product, so I'm going to say it's awesome even though it's shit. Like, the people that, you know, are making two videos and they're not making a lot of money, this is not their career, it's career, you know? Like, I... So I hate, like, I wish there weren't careers, you know? I want people just to talk about shit they like and so they don't like, you know, instead of, like, trying to make a career out of it. You know, the people who, like, have it just because they, they make, you know, they like, talk about makeup or they talk about, you know, whatever, and they're not making any money off it will give you more of an honest opinion. But do you really think that someone who's making a ton of money off of ad revenue and, you know, their fucking whatever codes and shit are going to give you an honest opinion? I don't fucking think so. So you can't really get mad at them when they lie. I mean, think about it. When you go to the Mac counter and you're like, hey, I need, you know, blah, blah, blah. Do you really think they're going to be like, well, I have this primer, but you can go to CVS and get pretty much the same shit for, like, $10. But no, 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 buy, buy my 30 buck one. Well, no, it's in sales. It's fucking, that's, that's what it is. They're making commission. They're basically making fucking commission. It's the same thing if you walk into an Ulta. Like, you can't expect them to be honest and sad, but, like, part of retail is kind of lying. Like, I told one of the girls I work with, like, <sighs> she's a sweetheart, but she's, like, too fucking nice for her own, like, too honest and nice and just, mm. So I was, like, I was talking about retail, and I was like, one of the things of retail is, like, you have to learn to be a good liar. And not in the aspect where you're going to hurt people, but in the aspect of, like, you can't say, hey, this product is shit, or hey, you can get the same thing for cheaper. Luckily, the beauty supply store I work at is 
is lower priced. So I can sell somebody like a ten dollar product and be comfortable with it because I know it's not like, hey, spend thirty bucks on this. But like, I mean, really, did you really think they were being honest with you? I mean, come on. I mean, yeah, there are some people. I do actually trust Jeffrey Star for the most part because he makes his money off of his own makeup line. Now, of course, he's gonna say his his brand is amazing. Of course he is. But when he tries other brands, and because he, you know, and I know I'm sure a lot of people did. I don't know everybody's backgrounds. But, like, most people who, you know, start with nothing, like, he said he grew up in a fucking, you know, BS apartment in L.A. with his mom, you know, are going to be pretty more, um, more comfortable saying, like, hey, you know, my shit's great, but if you can't afford $18 for lipstick, here's something else you can use. You know, like, I love Jeffree Star's makeup, but right now, like, I can't fucking afford that shit. But if I went wild, which is a good dupe for it, and I'll buy that. And, like, he even supports went wild, you know, like that kind of thing. But getting pissed off because someone's being, like, you know, trying to sell you a product, like, why do you think they have a code? You know, like, they're not going to be like, this is totally shit. You know, I collabed with whoever, and this product is crap. Like, it's marketing. One of the many reasons I wish YouTube, you couldn't make any fucking money on it. I wish YouTube would just pick, like, a few creators that like their content, and they sponsor them. And everybody else, like, the end. You don't make any fucking money. Because then we just have a bunch of people who just make YouTube videos because they're fun. You know? And we'd have such a better community. And it would be just so much more fun. And less, less, like, drama and bullshit and shit. Like, speaking of Jeffree Star... <laughs> I don't go on Twitter very often because Twitter just makes me angry. It's always just people like fighting over the stupidest fucking bullshit. But I went on Twitter and fucking here for the tea, which I actually used to like her. I used to like her content because it was, it was just makeup reviews. And I was like, okay, cool. I like makeup. Yay. And then it was like drama. And I was like, okay. And you know, I watched Petty Page, you know, like, okay, I like some drama. That, that's fine. But like some of the shit that she like pulls out of her ass, it's like, do you just like, I mean, on her Twitter, like, and Jeffree Star apparently parked in a handicapped spot, which my personal self, like, oh my God, fuck you. You know, like, I hate that. My wife is handicapped. Mind you, we park anywhere because she has a wheelchair, you know what I mean? But, like, some people really need that fucking spot. Like, if we are at home, like, she is crutch on the crutches. She can't fucking crutch two miles to her house. You know, so some people really need that fucking spot. Some people can't even, like, have luxury of, like, having, like, a wheelchair, if you will, and need to get a close spot. So if you park in a handicapped spot because it's fucking convenient, well, you're a fucking dick. But the end, you're a dick. You know, like, but she apparently, apparently he parked in a handicapped spot. According to him, it was, you know, they told him, who fucking gives a shit? Who gives a shit what the real reason was? It's fucked up, it's bullshit, the end. But you know what, there's way worse things going on in the world, first of all. Because again, that's one of my personal, like, pet peeves of life. But she made a whole video about it, and she's making these tons of tweets. And, like, one of the tweets literally was from Jeffree Star in 2009. And I'm like, okay, so on Twitter, to go backwards, you can't, like, uh, from what I know, at least, you can't just, like, type in a year or something. I'm like, what? So... You're going to tell me that bitch went back that far into 2009. It is 2018. So that was fucking thousands and thousands and thousands of tweets to find one that might be incriminating. And how would she know it was even there? And holy fuck. Basically, the tweet just said, I park in handicap spots because of my heels. Hi, sarcasm. How you doing? I understand sarcasm. Do you? You know, like, it's just like, what the fuck? But people make these channels because they can make money off of it. You know, they know that if they have a tea channel, people are going to watch it. And, like, yes, we're all guilty of it. You know, like, I used to read fucking Perez Hilton. Like, he's a douchebag, but I've re watched his, you know, read his fucking re website. People are always interested in what other people are doing. You know, they always want to see what, you know, this person's doing, this person said, whatever. But, like, come the fuck on. Like, I just, I hate that, like, people are just so blatantly, like, fake now because they just need to make that money. At the same time... You really can't get mad when someone's job is to sell you a product and they sell you that product. You know, if you want to figure out if the product's good, read fucking reviews of people who aren't getting paid. Go on Amazon and read the fucking reviews, you know, or take the goddamn chance because you're buying a product because, you know, someone's name's on it, like Kim Kardashian's name's on it. Take the chance that you might be buying a fucking pile of shit like Kim Kardashian's makeup. You know what I mean? Like, if you buy something just based on whose name's on it, well, then that's your own fucking fault. Like, Kylie. All right. Kylie's, like, aesthetic on her makeup line is adorable. Um, but I haven't seen any good really reviews. Her, price, her prices are fucking outlandish. It's collabing with ColourPop. So, basically, she's... It's, it's ColourPop. You're buying ColourPop for an obscene amount of money because Kylie's name on it. And that's fine. I mean, if you're a huge fan of her, of course you're going to want everything that has to do with her. I mean, I don't really know why you'd be a fan because she doesn't do anything. But at the same time, you know, like, as, as people talk shit, you know, they talk shit Kylie and Kendall and the whole, like... Kardashian, God, so many K's. The so Kardashian, you know, family, they're smart. Like, I ain't gonna, like, oh, let me rephrase that before everybody fucking comes for me. Smart, book wise, fuck no. Marketing wise, fuck yes. Because honestly, Kim Kardashian had a sex tape. Like, her and 5,000 other fucking people. Like, Screech from fucking Saved by the Bell had a goddamn sex tape. But she made that little sex tape into a goddamn fucking career. She's been on fucking E Channel, what, for like 10 years now? She is. 
no, everybody knows fucking Kim Kardashian is. She's like well motherfucking known, and not because she's like a great musician or she's a great artist or she's a great, no, because she's got a big ass. I don't fucking know because she had a sex tape and she turned it into a show, and the show turned a bunch of fucking people to obsess over her life because that's what people are. That's what the internet works. Like YouTube is here is because people are gonna watch what other people are doing. Like that's just life. You know, and yeah, like a lot of people have sex tapes and nothing. I mean, Paris Hilton. Do you guys know who she is? If you're if you're older than like twenty, you probably don't know who Paris Hilton is, because in the early two thousands she was popular, and then people are like, who? You know, actually Kim Kardashian worked for Paris Hilton, but no one knows who Paris Hilton is anymore. You know, puppy. Anyway, um, oh, I didn't mean to throw him so much. I'm sorry, I'm a monster. But uh, point being, she turned a sex tape into a whole entire, like, she's set. She's set. Her family's set. Like, if it wasn't for her having that fucking sex tape, I mean, look at Ray J. There was a guy she had sex with. Anybody know who he is? No. It's Brandy's brother. Who's Brandy? A singer. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that nobody knows the fuck he is. But she turned it into a, you know, into a whole fucking career. To the point that her two sisters had, like, clothing lines. And, you know, they've all had, like, makeup lines. Kylie is fucking set, even though she was pretty much already set. Because, you know, money, money, money. Which, is, of course, is a little bit easier when you start for money to still have money. But, uh, like, she's fucking pretty much set. And it's all because her sister had sex on tape. <laughs> and her mom apparently really knows how to uh, market off that shit, you know? Like, and you gotta give credit when credit's fucking due. Like, people can hate her all she want, all you want. But I'm sure she's still sleeping pretty comfortably knowing that she is pretty much set for life right now. And no, money is not everything. Of course. But coming from my situation right now, Yeah. <laughs> that can make a million dollars having sex on, on video I'm about that life you know like that's why like, when people talk shit it's like you're just jealous you're just jealous it's her fucking stupid ass fucking was able to market that shit to where she now has you know her and her kids and everyone's like set for fucking life now as for like the beauty gurus same thing like they they're setting it to where they're set for life you know people need to worry about themselves sometimes worry about their, their own shit and like if you buy a product just because one person on the internet said it was good well, then that's your own fucking fault. And, like, it all comes down to the whole, like, I wish you couldn't make money on YouTube. Because I'm glad they actually made the rules a little bit harder. Because it, we saw a lot of people, like, stop. Like, I, I saw a lot of people that I watched stop making videos. And that kind of broke my heart. But that show, if, if that's why you made videos, if you made videos because you want to be YouTube famous, you want to not work, well, then bye. You know, like, I work a full-time job. You know, like, I got other shit going on in my life. My videos, I don't have, like, a set video schedule. I don't make videos of huge content. Right now, I'm just fucking talking to a screen because... I'm fucking here, you know? But, at the, you know, like, so it's not like it's my career. It's just fun. And I get to meet some really awesome fucking people. But, like, if you if you think you're going to make a YouTube video and, like, become, like, super famous and make and not have to, you know, and this would be, you're going to be an internet influencer, like, God, calm it down. Now, like, I actually read an article about someone who is a internet influencer, I guess because they have a lot of subscribers on, a little bit on, like, they have, like, 30,000 subscri 30, subscribers on YouTube, which is awesome. I mean, I hope one day I make a thousand. So I'm like, fuck yeah, with your 30 grand. Um, but she wanted to get like a free like hotel room and she got really pissed off. The, the hotel was like, um, no, we don't know who the fuck you are. And it's like, but nobody knows who you are. Like, you... okay. I, I appreciate the fact that you're popular on the internet, but look at most people who are really popular on the internet. Like even like, I keep bringing up Jenna Marbles. Jenna Marbles has what, like 10 million subscribers or actually I think it'd be more than that. She has an obscene amount of subscribers. Actually, fuck. Is it like, whatever. She has a ton of subscribers. Um, and she's also, and I fucking think she's hilarious and blah, 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 blah. But if you don't watch YouTube, you have no idea the fuck she is. At all. At all. <laughs> and the fact that there's, all, there's a whole generation of people that are like, I'm going to be YouTube famous. Well, you better have some kind of great, like, great skill or something. You better be funny. You better be something to bring to the fucking table. Because everything else has been done. The days of where you can just you know, saying I'm a banana and make, you know, millions and millions of dollars are fucking over. Like, YouTube has become way too big for that now. And especially with the whole, like, we're going to, you know, block everything from being monetized. Like, I did sign up for mon monetization, not because I want to make any money and I don't plan on it. I mean, you see my views, like, I'd make nothing, but because it's the only way you really get recommended in other people's channels. But I don't even hit the criteria, like, criteria to do that. I don't have a thousand subscribers. One day I may. We'll see. You know? But, like, it doesn't really matter. Like, I would have never even signed up for monetization. I can't seem to say that word right now. If it wasn't for the fact that I didn't sign up for it, you don't get really recommended. You know? It's just, like, it's just so crazy. It's just so sad that, like, people are, like... I want people driven by the fact that they want to meet people and they want to talk and they have opinions and they want to spread their, like, opinions, their message and shit. Not because, oh, my God, I might not have to work. Because, okay... A lot of times, I mean, this is work in the aspect of, like, you know, there are people that put a lot of effort into their videos, like, a lot of, like, the true crime videos. We have to do a lot of, like, research and that kind of stuff. Like, they're really hard videos to make. Like, I have, like, four, like, that I'm working on in a row because, like, 
every time I start working on one, I get sort of depressed and I move on. <laughs> and because my life's kind of falling apart right now. So I don't really have time to worry about, like, other more depressing things, if that makes sense, you know? And it's not really falling apart. Let me phrase that. Like, it's just, it's been kind of a, just, I don't even know. Like, I don't even know what to explain. Like, I, I mean, you've seen the video. Like, you've seen, like, me talk about shit. Like, it's just not even, like, I don't know how to explain it. It's just sort of like, what the fuck? But me and Shannon did have a good talk. And, like, we have an idea sort of, like, what we're doing now. Um, my best friend moved to North Jersey. And, yes, I am everywhere in this video. That's probably going to be my, like, video method for the next, like, few months. So, accept it or buy. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want anybody watching my channel because I don't want to watch it. Anywho. So, me and Shannon talked about it. And we sort of thought about, like, where we wanted to, like, move to. And I love New York City. Like, I love New York City. Like, that is my dream town. However, can't afford to live there at all. Um, and the crowds all the time would probably drive me crazy. So, the more we thought about it, I was like, you know what? I was like, we can move to, like, Jersey City. We can move to Elizabeth. And it's right outside of New York where it's, like, a 10-minute fucking bus ride or, you know, train ride. And we could be in Times Square. But we could go back to New Jersey <laughs> when it's tons of crowds and, like, you know, all expensiveness of that. And my best friend lived up, lives up there now. So she's, like, about, would be, like, a half an hour away. And it's so funny because where she lives is super country. Like, country, country. I was like, that's some country grass, country shit. But it's actually, like, we would be able to, like, live near each other so I would know somebody. But at the same time, I wouldn't know anybody. Because, like, down here, like, we are definitely, like, small town mentality. Like, everyone knows who Shannon is, which is great. I mean, Shannon's a fucking amazing person. Everyone should know who the fuck she is. You know, like, you're lucky to have Shannon in your life kind of thing. So that's great that everybody knows her. But I'm the kind of person, like, I like to think I'm a bitch. And I, I mean, yeah, I am. <laughs> but I'm not at the same time. Like, I am, I'm blunt. I'm very, very blunt in my opinions, if you haven't noticed. And I don't have time for bullshit. I'm not here to be, like, I don't want to have a lot of friends. Like, when I worked at the studio, it used to drive me crazy because a lot of people I didn't know would talk to me. And I'm like, who the fuck are you? Like, how do I know you? Like, oh, I pierced you once? Cool. Like, what? And I get to go somewhere where no one fucking knows me. And I'm like, yeah, it's going to start over again. You know? And, like, it's, it's awesome. It's kind of terrifying because it's like, I'm going to move somewhere with not much money because they gave us, like, a month and a week to, like, you know, save up, if you will. I know we're not going to get a security deposit back for this at all because they're just not going to do it because this company's a fucking... Mm -hmm. So it's like, okay, well, I'm just going to save as much as possible. So I'm going to have maybe, like, a grand to two grand. I'm selling my car, which makes me want to cry so much, but it's... <sighs> It's a beautiful car. And one day I'll make more money. And when I make more money, I'll buy another one. You know, or another one of my dream cars. But it's never really worked. And I just don't have time or patience to try to get it to work. Same thing with Shannon. Shannon's selling her truck. And she loves her truck. It's like, you know, we met when she just got that truck. You know, we have many good memories in that truck. But uh, we have many, many good memories everywhere. And we have the memories. You know, she's so going to sell her truck as well. And we're going to sell, like I said, like 75% of our stuff. And because we just, we have so much shit. And like, there's certain things like, I'm keeping this bed because this bed's fucking brand new. And I'm keeping the couch that my mom gave me and like the grandfather clock and stuff. And like art. And that's it. Like, the rest of shit, like, bye. Bye, furniture. <laughs> you know? Like, I'm pretty much just gonna start all fucking brand new. And it's funny though, because me and Shannon are talking about it. Me and Shannon have both lived, like, I've both been like homeless. Like, I have not really been homeless like she has. I mean, she's been straight up homeless. You know? And like, we talked about it. And like, <laughs> at first we were just, this is all happening. We were like, you know, we can just fucking go live in the car or something. Like, fuck it. Who needs somewhere to fucking live? And the more I thought about it, I was like, baby, it's going to be summer. I was like, do you like your air conditioning? <laughs> do you like having a bed? <laughs> it's like, I don't think we, we're at that age anymore where we can just be homeless. Which made me feel super old. It's kind of true. Like, I'm not in the age anymore where I'm like, I'm going to be homeless and I don't need a plan. Like, when all that shit happened, the first thing I was like, is like, we need to make a plan. I can't just be like, whatever. <laughs> YOLO. <laughs> I'm too old for yo yo YOLO. <laughs> to what we saying YOLO but anyway so yeah we're gonna start fresh and new and I'm kind of excited and kind of terrified kind of excited and it's so funny because like we're both me and Shannon are sort of like going through the motions right now um like I said like when you're depressed you don't really want to do anything like it's sort of some some days it's hard to like wake up and like get dressed and go drive my hour to work and you know be peppy and happy and yay you know because I'm just like what the fuck my whole life's falling apart and there's other days and I'm just like Bitch, I got this. Like, <laughs> put my big girl pants on and keep it moving, you know? So it's like, it's just, it's crazy. It's a very crazy time. And like, in a year from now, I'm going to be like, I remember that shit. But right now I'm like, eh. It's kind of cool though, because my mom doesn't live in the area anymore. Now, if my mom was still living here, she would be, like, she's already freaking out. But like, because she doesn't live in the area, I can sort of not tell her everything. Because she's like me in the aspect of she's a warrior. And she's going to be like, oh my god, you're going to be homeless and you're going to smoke crack or suck dick for money or whatever. Because my mom, she's crazy. And I'm like, well, no, I'm just going to, you know, not really sure what I'm doing, but I'll figure something out. Like, I'm a lot more resourceful than most people seem to think. So it's like, 
I don't know. It's weird. Like, I don't know where I'm going to be in two months, but I'm going to be okay. You know, if that makes sense. And like, and we just talked about like, as long as we're together, like we're fine. I don't care if I have to live in a fucking hotel room. Well, they're expensive, but you know what I mean? Like, I don't care. Like when I said I was going to move to like Jersey city, Elizabeth, whatever, there's some girl who's like, honestly, like been coming for my shit. I feel like on Facebook anyway, I hate Facebook. I usually stay away from Facebook, but I've been on Facebook a little more lately for, I don't know why I just decided to open the app again. But, um, and I took on Facebook and like a few things that she said, cause like one of the things I had to ask when I was on Facebook is like, I'm trying to build a resume. Excuse me. I'm like drinking and like, I can't like, you know, apparently not burp. But uh, I have to build my resume, and I have not written a resume since 2010. So, obviously, there are some things that have changed. But I have to put the studio down because I don't want to have, like, a lapse in my employment because I worked there for, like, five fucking years. But even though it's illegal to talk shit on someone, um, they can. You know, like, I'm going to sue her. Like, you know, I can't prove she didn't do it. Because even when I was a manager, if someone said, like, hey, you know, did Bob work for you? I can say yes. I can't say anything bad about him. But they can ask me, would you hire Bob back? And I can say no. And that gives them inkling that mm, you might not want to hire Bob. So you can definitely like, you know, say shit and I can't prove it. But at the same time, I can't have a last employment. I don't want to lie. So I'm going to just be honest and just be like, sort of was a toxic environment. And you know, I wasn't getting paid in the end. But, um, I said something on Facebook about it. I was like, do I put this? Do I not put this? Like, what do you guys think? Like, should I lie? Like, I'm not really sure. And like, you know, most people are like, duh, you know, like we can't say anything. And I'm like, I know. And my brother-in-law has a bunch of businesses. Like he owns like subways. So he was like, okay, he's like, I'd rather not have somebody who's being honest. I was like, okay, I'm gonna be honest. But the one person, because when this all first happened, I was angry. If you haven't noticed, I tend to have anger issues. I'm not really good at holding in my anger or any emotion in general. Hence the reason my second was pop video is me crying, like not good at hiding shit. So I made a whole fucking Facebook post like, being like, you know what? It's been fucking eight years of me hiding shit. Fuck it. Let me tell you the real deal. And yeah, I kind of regret it. Kind of. But, you know, it is it is what it is. There's not, you know, it's not like the first time I've said, you know, I popped off and it's not going to be the last time. So I did delete it after like a week because I didn't have any internet access. So it took me a while to delete it. So whatever. So she said something to the extent of like, you know, you shouldn't put anything negative on, you know, you should say, but you, know, you shouldn't ever put anything negative on, on Facebook. And I was like, well, yeah, and you should also should work for, like, a monster. Like, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty, bitch. Like, okay. And she was like, said something else. She was like, well, just, you know, and if, you know, you should never, just basically being like, you should just, you know, get the fuck over it. You should never say anything bad and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I don't know who you are, first of all. I really don't. Because a bunch of people just add me because, you know, I tattooed them once or my wife is a tattoo artist. So apparently, like, let's be friends. Like, fuck no. I'm literally doing a, like, purge on Facebook today where I'm deleting probably, like, half of the people that follow me. Because, like, if you follow me for just, like, because my wife tattoos or I use a tattoo or what the fuck ever or like you think my hair is cool or something like bye like I don't need no more fake friends goodbye <laughs> I have like three friends but like a thousand people involved and fuck that shit no so she basically like she just keeps like coming for stupid shit so basically I um that there was that and that sort of like per I was like what the fuck but I was like okay whatever you're probably like Megan's friend or something like get the fuck off my dick so I posted about moving to Jersey City I was like I'm probably gonna move to Jersey City or something like that and of course my friend Connie's like yay you're gonna live near me and um she was like, well, she's like, it's nothing like Cape May County. And, you know, I, she's like, it's, you know, it's really bad out there. And I ran the streets of Newark. So da -da -da, and I'm just like, okay, well, let's have a conversation. You don't know me. <laughs> I didn't grow up in fucking Cape May County, which is like suburbia lands. Now, mind you, no, I didn't grow up in fucking Camden. I didn't grow up in the fucking hood. But I did not in any aspect grow up, grow up in suburbia. Like I grew up in a very poor area. I grew up in a fucking trailer park. Like... I'm not, like, from money where, like, oh, my God, like, poor people are going to scare me. I'd rather live around people that are poor, honestly, because I feel more comfortable. I don't like living in suburbia. I lived in Westchester. And it was, like, the worst fucking place to live ever. And then it was Reading, Pennsylvania, which is, like, sort of, like, the hood. And I was like, I love this. Yay. Um, and it just drove me crazy. I was just like, but you don't even know me. Like, I'm not from Cape May. You know? And, like, I'd rather live, like, I don't care where I live as long as I can comfortably afford it and find a job. If I move to Elizabeth or Jersey City, which are not the best places in the world... But there is a big small New Jersey in Elizabeth. All my background is is body piercing and <laughs> retail management. And sadly, I can make way more money being a manager in retail than I could ever do in piercing. So what am I going to do? I'm going to be a manager in retail. So I'm going to go to that big ass mall and apply to everywhere. Which unfortunately means I can't wear my dreads, which is killing me because I really just want to put my dreads back in. And I probably have to get this lavender to not be lavender. But eh. Once I find out, I'm hoping to work somewhere, like, as much as I hate it, somewhere like Spencer's or something. Because I'm figuring if I work at, like, Spencer's, I could have fun hair and not have to make, retain, like, I'm going to have to put, like, retainers and all my piercings. And, like, I mean, can't cover this shit. But it is what it is. I mean, I took a chance. I took a fucking chance. And 
it didn't fail because of anything I did, you know? It didn't fail because I was like, fuck this, I don't want to do... Like, it failed because it was a toxic environment and I needed to move on, you know? And honestly, it was one of the best things that could have ever happened. Like, right now, it doesn't really feel like that, you know? But it does at the same time. Like, I mean, it sucks for my wife. Like, she has to deal with a lot more because it's her family. And it breaks my heart and I hate to see it. And I, I wish I could do anything to make it not be there. And it makes me really angry. Like, because, I, I mean, I, I can be angry. I mean, when am I not angry? You know? But, like, seeing her her, I'm like bitches like who am I gonna beat the fuck up like what the fuck you know and like I mean that's that's her fucking family and it sucks you know but like at the same time like I think in like a year like we're all just gonna be like relaxed because even I can see now even though like it's not fun and I can see that she's a little depressed like she's definitely coming out of the cloud now um or at least I feel that she is and I feel like in a year, she's going to feel a lot better. I mean, a part of me definitely wants to, like, you know, like, write, a, like, a letter to her family and be like, you should talk to your kid because that's your your family, you know? But I also know what it feels like to have family abandon you, you know? Not to maybe the extent, but, like, I mean, out of my huge family, I have my mom, my sister, Melissa. I have some siblings that sort of talk to me, but very sort of. And I have, oddly enough, I have my brother-in-law, that my sister divorced, who talks to me more than, like, my sister does. And he, like, always, like, understand. Like, he's, like, he's real chill. Like, he's a cop. But he's real chill. He's real understanding. And I'm, like, why does it? I, it's okay. And then I have my little brother that I did apologize to. But I went fucking nowhere. And, nobody, like, people who just block me, you know? So this, that's who I have. I don't have a big family. So I know what that feels like. But, like, at the same time, you know, like, it's not a fun place to be. I wouldn't wish it on anybody. You know? But I definitely feel like in, you know, a year or so, it's going to feel a little better, if that makes sense. So, I don't know where the start of this video was, what the point of this video was. <laughs> the point, well, it's the point of it always being. It's me getting shit out of my brain. So, welcome to Debbie getting shit out of my brain. This is probably what it's going to be forever. But we at least have a plan. We're going to move up to probably North Jersey. Um, I have to talk to my job at Sally's and see if I can at least get transferred to another Sally's until I can find something else. I mean, I'm trying to get into store management, but it doesn't seem like it's going to happen there, which is whatever. But, um, at least I'll have a job, you know? But, we'll see. We're going to see what happens. I can't really... I have no idea what's happening, you know? And it's terrifying and freeing at the same time. So, yeah. Shannon's singing in the background. It's hilarious. Oh, one more thing, which I can't wait for this to happen, but it's fucking funny. So, me and my good friend, well, Mike and Mel, they're like a person together. Okay, hold on for a second. Okay. <laughs> Shit is rocking out, which is fine. Music has actually been, like, our, like, our Xanax right now. We get upset, we just rock the fuck out. Like, the past, like, three days, we've had, like, dance parties in the house. But, anyway. Um, so, one of my really good friends, uh, Mike and Mel. They're, like, they come as a package deal. Like, me and Shannon do. Um, Mike likes rap like I do. Like, he is, like, really into rap. I'm like, fuck yes, finally. Someone else looks like me that's into rap. Thank you, Jesus. Because every time I say that, they're like, the fuck you're into rap? You're supposed to like this because you look like this. And it's like, no. <laughs> So, I uh, talk really fast, and one of the biggest complaints I always get is, he talks too fast, he talks too fast, ah. So, I thought about it, and I was like, you know what? I was like, I really want to cover Rap God. Like, I want to cover Rap God by Eminem. It's a fucking awesome song. And if I could fucking rap that fast, that would be like, oh, like, I would be very just proud of myself. And he has already gotten most of the song down. So, when I said that on Snapchat, my friend was like, Mike, my, Melissa, Mel, God. <laughs> I was like, Mike, rap that. Oh, my God, you guys should do it together. And I'm like, yes. And then I was like, and then she was like, well, thinking about doing it and I was like me you Shannon and Mike like should all do it together and do like verses and make a fucking rap video so I'm working on the song right now which I actually have like a video that I go over like with the lyrics and oh my fucking Jesus it's a hard fucking song to like I mean I talk fast but it makes me sound like I talk like this so um it's gonna take a while for me to really get it like get the the verse down but I think we're all gonna like pick a verse and we're gonna make a goddamn rap video because why the fuck not like give me a reason not to because I ain't got a reason not to so we're gonna make a fucking rap video and it's gonna be hilarious and I even told some of my friends I was like I need some video hoes so I hope I'll have some of my friends dancing in it and just being absurd because I need absurdness in my life right now like everything is absurd in general so I need my life just to like add to it like everything feels sort of insane so I think I just need my life to be extra absurd extra extra because that's who the fuck I am so we're gonna make a fucking rap video so coming soon to YouTube near you we're gonna fucking make a video to rap god so yeah if you made this far in the video that's the best part of this video is the fact that we're gonna fucking cover rap god and it's gonna be goddamn amazing it's gonna be a goddamn show all right goodbye <laughs>